got our gear case assembly taken out of our transmission here. We have a uh, parts list and a diagram of everything that's got to come out of this. Um, so here's the gear case assembly. This is basically where all the the brains and internals, if you will, of this transmission reside. Um, we've got a reverse band assembly. And if there's any transmission people out there that know a lot more than I do, pardon my ignorance. But I believe this is the reverse band assembly right here. So when you put your motor or your, your transmission reverse, this grasps this drum almost just like a, a brake and stops it from spinning. Well, somewhere in here some bearings fell, failed, and got down in here, and as this continued to spin, it gouged it out really bad. So you can see as we take this off, this is that reverse band, all these grooves that you see there on top, this should be really shiny and clean like this, but you can tell it's just got worn down grooves, no telling how long that first bearing got in there and over the nose, noise of the motor and everything else had no idea it was gouging out and still operated fine. As more and more happened, the reverse gear stops working as well. It never quit altogether, but uh, it did a lot of damage. Now this is a, um, this collar here has almost like a brake pad material inside there that grasps this drum. And when these bearings failed, I don't know if you could see it, but it created big grooves down in here. And when that happened, you lose a lot of your braking capabilities, so you lose a lot of your reverse capabilities. So uh, according to Federal Marine, we might be able to get these rivets drilled out and get a new liner. Now the new modern way of replacing this liner is they take a replacement liner in there and you take it to a brake shop and there's some sort of special adhesive or glue that they put in here and glue that liner back on and it's good as new then. Now the first thing we saw that was completely obvious was you see there's uh, eight of these um, what they call uh, pinion shafts. Now these pinion shafts are held in here, they have a, they're grooved, right there on top is a groove, and they're held in place by these keepers, these little square tabs, that's all that holds this in here. Well one of two things happen, well many possibilities happen. Someone got in here a long time ago and didn't get this keeper set right and it wallowed off to the side, or it broke just out of fatigue right there. You can tell how it's rounded off. Or what I think may have happened is the needle bearings that this shaft goes through failed somewhere. And when that happened, the shaft spun. And I don't know if you can see it on this video, but the shaft is all gnarled up and has grooves in it. That's just from the continued spinning of metal on metal. When that happened, we think it threw that shaft out of place, which then released out the backside needle bearings all inside this transmission. So that's our down and dirty CSI version so far of what we think happened. And that may be completely wrong. So if I'm completely wrong and you're a transmission guy, please tell me, I'd love to know. Um, so we're gonna start pulling this thing apart and see what other joyous wonders we can find. But that's where we're at right now.